Next on the program, representing the Vice Chancellor KNUST, the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology based in Kumasi, is Professor Chiri Agbanyega. Professor Chiri Agbanyega is the Provost of the College of Health Sciences at KNUST. He is the former Dean of the School of Medical Sciences and serves on several councils and boards across the continent and beyond. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome, representing the Vice Chancellor, Professor Chiri Agbanyega. Thank you very much. Uh, I have a long list of people to acknowledge, but since Professor Donko has done it, I will skip it and just stick to distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to, on behalf of the Vice Chancellor of Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, the host institution for this symposium, welcome you all. It was our preference that this meeting be held in Kumasi, where our university is based, so you would have seen the serene and beautiful green campus. However, mindful of the additional travel time this may have imposed on some of you, we reluctantly agreed to hold the symposium in Accra. Those of you who have more time after the conference are welcome to visit our campus. KNUST is the only institution in Ghana that benefited from the MEPI grant under the PEPFAR NIH funded initiative in 2010. The principal investigator of the MEPI grant at our university is also the current chairman of the African Forum for Research, Education in Health, AfriHealth. As a university, we are proud of the service by one of our own personnel to the African continent, and we wish to assure you that we are fully committed to the vision espoused by AfriNet, AfriHealth. I'm aware that several African institutions received MEPI and NEPI grants to support medical education and nursing training. The award have contributed to developing, expanding, enhancing models of medical education in sub-Saharan Africa. These linkages must be nurtured as they are necessary to ensuring the sustainability of the gains made. At KNUST and the Konfonochi Teaching Hospital, emergency medicine and nursing programs were mounted for the first time ever in the sub-region and have produced competent research-oriented health professionals, providing leadership and service in emergency care throughout the country. A central office to provide research support has been established at KNUST to serve the entire university. It has the responsibility for research training, administration, and coordination. Curriculum enhancement to include teaching of HIV and ethics were undertaken. Another innovation was the development of a tree medical glossary to, promote, to improve communication between clinicians and non-speaking, English-speaking patients. In many of the other MEPI NEPI beneficiary countries, similar gains have been made in the areas of research infrastructure, student recruitment and training, curriculum reviews, with emphasis on competences, community-based education, faculty development and retention, and e-learning. AfriHealth's goal of expanding the gains to other health professions and institutions in Africa by removing the existing barriers will help build team spirit and enhance national development. The universities and other training institutions can take the lead by changing, by charging the deans of the health professional schools to implement teaching, training of medical, dental, pharmacy, public health, nursing, nutrition, and vet students. Postgraduate education in the health sciences can be made less 
discipline focused and more interdisciplinary, with emphasis being placed on solving persistent and emerging health problems facing our continent. The leadership shown by AfriHealth is promoting, in promoting locally relevant research is a clarion call to universities in Africa to be seen as drivers of evidence-based development. Research training and provision of needed support infrastructure requires scaling up in all our institutions. Even though individual institutions may promote a portion, may, may devote a portion of their revenue towards improving health environment, more resources are required from government, corporate institutions, and external partners. In this regard, we lend our full support to AfriHealth in their effort to source for funding for research. Quality care is the responsibility of all. Ultimately, our value as universities will be measured by the responsiveness of our graduates from health professions to the persistent and emerging health challenges that confront us daily. It is therefore imperative that the training that our graduates receive is locally relevant and prepares them to constantly search for new knowledge, review practices, and evaluate interventions. As you share ideas over the next few days, remember that it, it, it takes a team to build effective health systems. You must resist the temptation to recoil into your professional shells. You should also appreciate the power in knowledge sharing and redouble your efforts towards recruiting more members for the various health, from the various health professionals. Africa needs AfriHealth to, to be successful. Once again, I, work, I welcome you to this symposium and wish you a very su successful one. Thank you.